Chanchal Rungta from IV Professional School. I am currently studying data analytics and data visualization from this esteemed institute, and I hold a degree in economics from Sambasa School of Economics, Pune. This presentation that I'm here to make is a part of my final assessment of the SQL module during my course, and my research topic is Netflix Originals and IMDb scores. The data has been procured from Kaggle, one of the best websites for almost all data under the sun. The database chosen comprises of only the original series released on Netflix during the period 2015 to 2021 and their corresponding IMDb scores. These movies differ in their genre, languages, and runtime. The objective of the research is to find out the most popular language and genre amongst the viewers based on their IMDb scores. It also investigates into the sudden crowding of movies on Netflix during the COVID-19 pandemic. Before moving on to the analysis part, let us first take a look at our data. Our data comprises of two Excel sheets or CSV files, comma separated value file status. The first sheet is called Netflix Originals and has attributes like the name of the movie, that is the title, genre ID, the date of premiere of movie, runtime and minutes, IMDb scores, and language. The second sheet, that is the genre details sheet, comprises of only two attributes, genre ID and the name of the genre. Now, it is interesting to see that genre ID is present in both the sheets, genre details as well as Netflix originals. So ID in the genre details sheet is the primary key for that data. A primary key uniquely identifies each row in the table. When this ID or the primary key is placed into another table, say Netflix originals, it starts acting as the foreign key to that particular table. The role of a foreign key is to establish a relation between the two tables. It sets up a link between the two tables so that the analysis can be done more comprehensively and in a more elaborate manner. These CSV files for proper analysis need to be imported into the MySQL workbench. For importing these data, we first need to create the database. Here I have created the database named Netflix. And after refreshing the schema, we move to the table icon and import the data using the table data import wizard. We import both the tables, genre details, as well as Netflix originals. Let us run these queries to understand whether the data import has been done successfully. Select star, star implies all the fields in that particular table. So all fields, all rows get imported when we use the star icon. Same for genre details. Let's run this query. And we see that all the rows have been returned successfully. It is important that there are no missing data in our uh, database and that import takes uh, place successfully so that analysis can be carried out in a proper manner. Let's move on to our analysis part. Now, before we start analyzing a data, let us look at the IMDb ratings. What are these ratings? IMDb ratings are votes that every released movie receives by its viewers. Each viewer votes, and then these votes are aggregated and summarized as a single score and can be made available on the movie's main page. Now, to understand how many movie details are there in our sheet, we can use the count function to count the number of rows in each table, returns as 584 rows, implying that there are 584 movie names in the Netflix original table. When we run the same count function on the genre details table, it returns 19 rows, implying that there are 19 different genres mentioned in the details. 
you must have seen a premier date column when we ran the select star query on Netflix originals. Now, SQL has a little trouble understanding month, date, year format of date. It prefers date in the year, month, date format. So in order to convert this premier date into a format that SQL understands, we then need to run a string to date query. Before that, we will need to alter my Netflix original table and add a new column to it. That is new underscore date as I've named it here. We then perform the string to date operation and convert the premier date into the date as it is accepted by SQL. Now Netflix has a lot of movies premiered and a lot of shows in a lot of varied languages. Here, we are trying to understand, we are dealing with the data set which contains 584 movies over the period 2014 to 2021 and 23 languages across 19 different genres. Let us see the number of movies that are premiered in different languages. So again, we use the count language uh, function and we group the entire data on the basis of language. So this will show that each language has how many movies premiered in it. We see that English is the topmost language in which all the movies have been premiered. Approximately 420 movies have been premiered, which is a huge chunk of 584. It is then followed by Spanish, Hindi, and goes on to the rest of the languages. So we understand from this that English is the most popular language as compared to other languages. However, is it the most preferred language? So to understand whether it is the most preferred language or not, we try to compare the IMDb scores and the average runtime of this particular language with other languages. So in this data set, in this graph that is there in front of us, we see that though English is the most common language, but the maximum movies uh, which have been preferred are in regional dialects. Say Khmer. Khmer is a language that is spoken in Cambodia and it has the highest average IMDb score of 7.2. Khmer is then followed by Bengali, Tamil, Hindi, where English should have been the topmost language with the topmost IMDb score English stands at a score of 6.39 only. These ratings, they show that the preferences of the people do not stick to only English language movies. Let's compare the languages used in different movies on the basis of average runtime and IMDb score. It is pretty clear that the regional dialects have an average uh, runtime higher than that of English, and they also have a score higher as compared to English. So language does not stand as a barrier while it comes to watching movies or preference of movies. The runtime is also higher for regional language as compared to movies released in English. So we can say that language does not stand as a barrier to the viewers. On the whole, if you want to understand the average scores, we use the max function, the min function, and the average function, and we have rounded off to decimal places, the average score. So the maximum score out of 10 is nine. The minimum score that a movie has got is 2.5, and the average score, the overall average score of all the movies together is 6.27. Let us move on to understanding the different genres of movies. So this graph basically shows us the distinct genres. Uh, we say that documentary takes up a higher percentage, that is 27%. Approximately 27% of 584 movies have, they are 
of documentary nature, followed by drama, which is 18%, and then comedy, which is 15%. We can run this query in MySQL, and we can get an exact count of which movies are of what genre. So we see approximately 159 movies are documentary in nature, 105 drama, 86 comedy, 48 thriller, and then the list goes on. But again, just like language comparison, is this the preferred genre of the viewers? Let us compare genre with the IMDb scores. So we run this query. And we see that historical movies, concert films, biopics, they have a higher IMDb score rating as compared to romance, animation movies, drama, rom-com. This clearly indicates that, uh, that people, viewers, they have an inclination towards factual movies over fictional movies. Let's see the graphical representation of the same. This graph shows preferred genre versus popular genre, where we saw that the preferred genre was documentary. Concert films take it on the basis of the average IMDb scores, which is 7.63. This is followed by historical movies and then interviews. So people want real life data rather than fantasy world data. Let's talk about the movies which have received the highest and the lowest rating. So David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet, which is a documentary, receives the highest IMDb score and has the highest runtime. Whereas Enter the Annie, which is again a documentary, has received the lowest IMDb score and has a very low runtime. We can also find out the highest rated movie by using the rank function. Now the rank function is a window function. What are window functions basically? Window functions, they give us the, the frame, a calculation. So window function defines a frame or a window of rows with a given length around the current row and performs calculations across the set of data in the window. Here, we are using the dense rank function to assign ranks to these scores on the basis of the IMDb scores. So this gives me the dense rank. However, this is not the final output because we need to find out the topmost ranking movie. We you need to use the, the output of this query as an input to my final query. This is also known as common table expression or temp table or the derived table. So what we just observed in our graph that David Attenborough, A Life of, on Our Planet, has received the highest IMDb score and has been ranked first among all the movies. Now it is very interesting to see that over the years from 2014 to 2021, the number of movies that have been released on the Netflix platform have increased tremendously. But the maximum increase has been shown during the period of 2020. It is interesting that when people were all confined back at their homes, they were locked up during the lockdown period, that their source of entertainment has been Netflix. Let us see how many movies were actually released during this period. 2021, only 72 movies have been released, original series, that means 2020, 183, 2019, 125. In 2018, only 98 movies. 2017, 67. 2016, 30 movies, 2015, eight movies, and 2014, only one original movie. 
we have almost crossed 2021. We are in September 2021. And till this date, only 72 original movies have been released. 2020, 183 movies has crossed all limits. It is the year where maximum number of releases have been seen. And this graph depicts the same. Can we say that this was a COVID put forward effect? So these are my observations from the analysis conducted. So the analysis shows that English, though being the most accepted language, has a low IMDb score, as well as a lower average runtime, as compared to the regional languages, Khmer, Marathi, Tamil, Hindi. Also, the top three genres, being documentary, followed by drama and comedy, shows the preference of the viewers. They are more inclined towards real-time stories and less towards fictional movies. Also, the COVID-19 pull-forward effect has seen a storm of movies on the Netflix platform. This graph, which has been originally taken from some other source, shows that there has been a surge in the new customers subscribing to Netflix. It has recorded 15.8 million paid subscribers during the first quarter, almost doubling itself, like from 8.47 to 15.8 million forecasts. This forecast has been done by Wall Street analysts. So the sudden splurge is could be temporary because once people come out of their houses, once people get over their uh, confinement, the membership has a possibility of showing a decline. Also, we have crossed three fourths of 2021 and the growth in 2021 as compared to 2020 is pretty low. While doing the analysis of the data, I thought that there could be more improvements on this in case there were more data available, like say a region viewership. If we knew that which region or which population was subscribing more towards Netflix, it would have helped us understand the age diversity of preference of movie lovers and also subscriptions. And good content over quality, sorry, good content over quantity, or quantity over good content was something also where we could have, where if data available, we could have worked upon. So we need to take into consideration also that whether Netflix is delivering quality over quantity or just meeting the needs of the viewers who were sitting back at home during the pandemic. I hope my research paper interests you. This is all for it. Thank you so much.